good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening there has been a clamor to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game the uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic the car parks are full there is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled an atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement this one of the great amphitheaters of the game you are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures Aston Villa have chosen to go 4-3-3 Jim how do you see it yes and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another if that happens then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively so compactness can't be compromised and you need talkers in this team you need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly so we're up and running so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture yeah Fernandinho he plays a crucial role Peter offensively and defensively he's Superb at breaking up opposition attacks, stepping in with a, an interception or a tackle. But then when he gets on the ball, he instantly switches to attack mode, looking up to see where his teammates are running and usually picking them out. He's hugely effective. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? It's Kane! Great effort, beautifully taken. Ah, oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Ashley Young. Konsa. Williams. Played out to the right. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Means. And here's Sterling. Mares. Oh, he's up for the header. Goal, City! Manchester City are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Manchester City draw first blood here. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. And the shot! And that would have been some goal. Sterling can really show some outlandish skills, which is always welcome and obviously refreshing. Grealish. Aston Villa are behind here despite their domination of possession. And here's Grealish. Hits one! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. a worry or two good effort very good effort he would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though <laughs> Z 
Zinchenko. Ruben Diaz drives it forward. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. Greenish gets it back. It's put paid to a promising move. Greenish. He's in, surely. Edison gets it upfield. Oh, he's broken through. And that has sent him sprawling. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. And that's going to be a goal kick. And it's Sterling. And helps available out wide. Zinchenko. A real chance to break. Manchester City have made some interesting moves in getting their fullbacks to tuck in. Bright approach, isn't it? Yeah. Grealish! And in it goes. Half time imminent. What a time to score. That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Fernandinho. And here's Kane. Over to the left. To Bruyne. Going through. And shoots! And again, the keeper stands strong. And the first half is done. What it has been, an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. The midway point of the game. Well, for us neutrals, this is fantastic. If you're a fan from either side, it's unpleasant, and as for the managers, check your heart rate. Well, the scoreline indicates a pretty tight game, but there has been a lot of action in it, and it has been an exceptionally good watch. The score at half-time, 1-1. One, one. So we're just settling back into this second half. Grealish. Shapes to shoot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Sterling. Now it's Sterling. He's got away. Oh, good ball. Doesn't get the pass he's looking. And Sterling! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Laporte, Fernandinho, Zinchenko, De Bruyne, and here's Ke Kane! 
Oh, the ball's come loose. And they've been caught out here. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Goal kick. Ruben Diaz. Kyle Walker. Laporte. And it's played forward. Questions were asked. But he's given the answers. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. And it's Kay. And here's Mare. And Mares! Oh, that was no routine save. Mares is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. to clear it more than happy to take the muscular approach he is not one readily to admit defeat don't be surprised if he tries that again <laughs> there is some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change They've played it short Mares plays it in Kane really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Kyle Walker tries to get it forward quickly. Just brushed off the ball there, and now they can launch a counter. Good run down the left, what can they make of it? Plays it out to the wing, played back in. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Right through the middle. Ruben Diaz knocks it away. He's had a shot! is well and truly turned on its head. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. another change here yeah it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off his energy levels began to to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle Aston Villa go into the lead well I think you can write this lot off at your peril it's been a joy to watch them hold themselves right back into it now can they hang on now it's Silva Bernardo Silva Manchester City are definitely not going down without a scrap their attitude just can't be faulted. Sanson. Aston Villa certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. A minute 
minutes away from what would be a huge upset. Sterling. Manchester City need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Martinez sends that a long way. Ruben Diaz. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Bernardo Silva gets into some space. Forward it goes. They are right into last chance territory. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, I have to admit, Peter, that...